Sam. How you doing? This is Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News. All right, here we go. A New Jersey man was busted in Connecticut on trespassing and burglary charges less than an hour after being released from custody for a drug and larceny arrest, police said. Lawrence Crook, appropriately named Lawrence Crook, 37, of Jersey City, was first arrested in Fairfield on October 8th on charges of first degree larceny, possession of a controlled substance, and possession of drug paraphernalia after a man in a condo complex told cops he saw the crook with a black SUV acting suspiciously. The SUV was acting suspiciously? He was seen loading several blue and white striped bags into the vehicle. Cannot, you cannot load blue and white striped bags. When he was confronted by a witness because of those blue and white striped bags, a brief conversation ensued and the male quickly fled on foot, which prompted a call to the police. <clears throat> Investigators learned the SUV had been reported stolen, of course, from a car dealership in Bayside. This guy's got a lot going on. And tracked down a suspect who was later identified as Crook. Well, he can't help it. His name's Crook. Officers later confirmed it to be the same suspect through surveillance video, a police canine track, witness identification, and suspect admission. <laughs> well, that pretty much wraps it up. The blue and white bags that were so suspicious, police said Crook loaded into the stolen SUV, were laundry bags from a nearby hotel. He was also, I guess he stole those too. He was also found in possession of suspected methamphetamine and drug paraphernalia. Always with the meth. Crook was taken into custody and later released after posting a $300 bond. So is that 10% of that, $30? He also signed a promise to return to Bridgeport Superior Court on October 29th. Ah, oh, well, if he, if he promised, then it's good, good to go. But Crook came into contact with authorities for a second time that day, less than an hour later, after being released from custody when he was spotted lurking inside the Fairfield Fire Department's headquarters. Inside the fire department, a lieutenant inside the building allegedly saw Crook walking around the facility before ransacking a fireman's property. He was then arrested on charges of third degree burglary and first degree criminal trespass after cops responded to the headquarters on Reef Road. Crook remained in custody as of Friday and is due to appear in court on December 4th. Yeah, okay, well, that guy's can't help himself. He's a crook. Let's move on to the next story, shall we? The Lyon County Sheriff's Office, this is in Fernley, Nevada, arrested a man after he was found living in the ceiling of the Rayleigh's grocery store in Fernley. Sergeant Dan Lynch tells KOLO8 News, now, 35-year-old Matthew Hammer had fallen through the tile in the ceiling and had crawled back into the crawl space while employees were preparing to open the store just after 5 a.m. of September 30th. Employees called authorities who surrounded the store. After a while, they got him to come outside, and he was arrested for commercial burglary. Authorities said Hammer had been living in the area above the deli for at least a couple of days. Hey, man, good location. 
Isn't that real estate? Location, location, location. And had been stealing food from the store. Well, there you go. They say they found some of his property in the rafters. <laughs> the guy had actually moved in the ceiling of a Rayleigh's grocery store. The sheriff's office said Hammer is homeless and has had run-ins with deputies in the past. Well, he was trying to be unhomeless. All right, let's see what should we have here next, shall we? You can visit a theme park in Germany which has been built at a former nuclear power reactor. Thankfully, the site was never used and is now home to more than 40 rides and attractions. Wonderland Kalb Car, located near the Dutch border, was built at the former nuclear power plant SNR 300 in 1985, costing an estimated $5 billion. It never opened for its original purpose, nuclear power plant, as one year later the Chernobyl, Chernobyl disaster happened, which led to a number of protests. It was then bought by a Dutch investor, Kenny Vandermost, in 1991 before opening the hotels in 196 and the, what? I, I think that's wrong. I think it's 1996 and the theme park in 2001. The most popular ride at the park is the vertical swing ride, a 58 meter high swing ride built into the power station's cooling tower. There it is, that looks pretty cool. No pun intended. There are more than 40 rides to choose from inside the park. The nuclear power plant never opened. It was converted to a theme park. It also has six hotels on site. Other rides include a Ferris wheel, go-kart tracks, spinning teacups, and other roller coasters, and there are smaller kid versions of the rides as well. It has small and large climbing walls too. Even better, all food and drink is included in the ticket price. Wow, normally they really gouge on that stuff. The park, which attracts up to 300,000 people a year, also has six hotels on site. All right. So, if you're looking to take a little trip to Germany, you might want to stop by and ride this swing ride inside the nuclear plant. All right, and finally, this happened. And I'm not sure what this guy was trying to do. <laughs> All right, let, let's take a look at that again, shall we? Was he trying to jump that? I mean, okay, well, they got the guy out. I'll put the link in the description. And with that, that is it for today's episode of the Aimless News. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and most of all, share this video far and wide. Because remember, the Aimless News must be told. <laughs>